Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to determine the geometric mean of two positive numbers. Let's have the definition for geometric mean. Geometric mean is a mean or average which indicates the central tendency or typical values of a set of numbers by using the product of their values. So let's take these first examples right here. Find the geometric mean of two, the given two numbers right here. We have 3 and 48. So how do we determine the geometric mean? So in this first set of examples, the one that we have right here, we are given a geometric sequence. So this one right here is a geometric sequence. We remember that geometric sequence is a sequence made by multiplying the same value each time. So in this problem right here, our multiplier is 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. 48 times 2 is 96 and so on. So how do we determine a geometric mean if we are given a geometric sequence. So in this problem right here, we are asked to determine the geometric mean between 3 and 48. So looking at this geometric sequence that we have here, we got the 3 right there and we got the 48 right here. What we do here is that we need to determine what is that middle number between 3 and 48 in this geometric sequence. So we can go ahead and determine the middle number right here, and that is 12. So that means the geometric mean of 3 and 48 is 12. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. We are supposed to determine the geometric mean between 6 and 384. So looking at the list or looking at this geometric sequence that we have here, 6 is right there and 348 is down on this side right here. We are going to determine what number is in between these two. So we can go ahead and determine the um Middle number for this, and that is 48. So the geometric mean between 6 and 384 is 48. So I'm just going to put that inside the box right here. And then we move on to the next one. Determine the geometric mean between 384 and 1536. So 384 is right there, and 1536 is right there. We need to determine the middle number between these two, and that is 768. So the geometric mean between 384 and 1536 is 768. So I'm just going to put that inside the box right here. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now, what happens if we are not given a geometric sequence, but then we need to determine the geometric mean between two numbers? How do we determine the geometric mean? This can be answered in the next slide. We remember that the geometric mean of two positive numbers A and B is the positive number x. So our x here is the geometric mean that satisfies this equation that we have here. a, which is the first number, over x, which is the geometric mean, is equal to the geometric mean over the second number. So that we can go ahead and determine the geometric mean out from this. Again, remember, in this equation, our a and b are the two positive numbers, while the x here is the geometric mean. So that we can go ahead and multiply both the means here. So we have um, x and x, and then a and B. This is the cross product property of proportion. So that we can go ahead and say uh, we have X times X is equal to A times B. So that we go ahead and say X times X is X squared that is equal to AB. Now, how do we solve for X? Again, remember our 
A and B are the two positive numbers, while well, our X is the geometric mean. So that we go ahead and get the square root from both sides so that we can solve for X, which is the geometric mean. So we can cross the squared and square root. So the general formula for geometric mean is, that's going to be X, which is represented as the geometric mean, is equal to the square root of the two numbers. So we multiply the two numbers together and we um, get their square root. That is the geometric mean. So I'm just going to go ahead and label that um, up here. This formula is very important because sometimes we are not given the geometric sequence. We are just given two numbers and we need to determine the geometric mean. And so we're going to use this formula right here. Now let's take some examples. In this example, we're supposed to determine the geometric mean of 13 and 208. Again, the formula for geometric mean, which is represented as letter X, that's the geometric mean, is equal to the square root of the product of the two numbers. The two numbers that are given to us are 13 and 208. So we can go ahead and plug the values in. That's the square root of 13. So we multiply 13 and 208. Multiplying them together, this will give us, that would be the square root of 13 times 208 is 2704. If we get the square root of that, that is equal to 52. So 52 is the geometric mean of 13 and 208. Again, notice that we are not given the geometric sequence. However, we can determine the geometric mean by using this formula right here. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. To determine the geometric mean represented as letter X, that is equal to the square root of the product of the two numbers. So we plug the values in, that would be the square root of, we can take this as our A and this is our B. So that is 17 times 34. We multiply them together, that is the square root of 578. Now, if we get the square root of this, this will come out 24.04163056. We can round this off to two decimal places. That would be 24.04. So this is the geometric mean of 17 and 34. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's use this formula that we have established to the first three examples that we have at the beginning. Okay, in the first example, we were given the geometric sequence. Now what about if we check this using the formula that we got? So I have here a calculator and let's see if the uh, geometric mean between 3 and 48 is really 12. So what are we going to do would be we get the square root of the product between these two numbers, 3 times 48, and the answer is 12. Now let's check if 48 is the geometric mean of 6 and 384. So it's pretty much the same thing. Second square root of that's going to be 6 times 384, and so the answer is 48. Now let's check the third one. So we have 384 and 1536. So we get the square root of the product of these two. So that would be 384 times 1536, and the answer is 768. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.